welcome to bsc statistics students in this class i explain one more problem in the test for single mean large sample test so you see this is problem 3 i have explained two problems and this is the third problem i i want to explain see the problem study the problem a random sample of 400 students has a mean 4.5 cm and standard deviation 1.5 cm so the data was considered a random sample of 400 students that is n is equal to 400 mean which has a mean 4.5 cm that is a sample sample mean x bar is equal to 4.5 and standard deviation 1.5 cm sample standard deviation yes is equal to 1.5 so this is the data so it is a one sample test obviously it is a one sample test and also we can uh, refer that it is a mean test we see further and so that we conclude that it is a whether it is mean test or not continue reading can we assume that the sample is drawn from the population with a mean 4.3 cm can we assume that the sample is drawn from the population that is is asking the question that uh, test whether the sample is drawn from the population or not with a mean 4.3 cm that is the data is given mu is equal to population mean mu is equal to 4.3 cm that is it is a test for mean is asking whether the sample is drawn from the population with a mean 4.3 cm that is population mean is given so uh, he was specified that uh, conduct the test with the help of the mean so therefore it is a test for mean large sample because uh, the sample size is greater than 30 hence it is a large sample large sample in the sense that the sample size is gra greater than 30 it is a large sample so therefore given that uh, n is equal to this x bar yes sample standard deviation mu population mean and uh, now it is a case here the sigma is not known that is uh, we have considered this is case 2 sigma is not known not given then sigma is estimated with yes sigma means population standard deviation if it is not given it is to be estimated with yes that is s is equal to sigma cron is equal to that is a sigma cron or cap sigma cron is equal to s is equal to 1.5 so sigma is estimated with yes and further he is asking the question also find 95% and 99% confidence limits for the population mean if the population standard deviation is 2 so asking in the question uh, if the sigma is 2 then uh, this is population standard deviation if the population standard deviation is 2 then calculate 95% and 99% confidence limits it's a another problem in this particular problem two bits uh, two questions he was asking first one can we assume that the sample is drawn from the population with mean 4.3 cm question number 1 question number 2 you have to calculate 95% and 95 99% confidence limits for the population mean if the population standard deviation is 2 first we do the question number 1 right you see for this uh, as usual you have to consider null hypothesis alternative hypothesis test statistic under h0 and comparison conclusion or inference you see the null hypothesis first null hypothesis h0 is mu is equal to 4.3 the sample has drawn from the population whether it is drawn from the population or not the question is so therefore we have consider yes it is drawn from the population the sample has drawn from the population that is mu is equal with mean 4.3 cm that is mu is equal to 4.3 alternative hypothesis not equal to 
that is h1 mu is not equal to 4.3 that is sample has not drawn from the population not equal to therefore it is two tile test so alternative hypothesis specified here two tile test right and third point is test the strategy under h0 we know we have calculated here in the sigma is not given not known the case where you have to consider that is equal to x bar minus mu not by s by root n follows and 0 1 that is uh, substitute the values x bar 4.3 mu not 4.4.5 x bar 4.5 mu not 4.3 yes 1.5 root n n 400 you calculate the value you will get some value here 2.67 hope you understand uh, after calculating the value of z it is 2.67 you calculate and uh, decide whether this value is right or wrong next point fourth point inference or comparison and conclusion you take modulus of z it is 2.67 plus plus 2.67 z alpha the level of significance is not given therefore 5 percent level and tile uh, test of the uh, which tile test it is alternative hypothesis it was specified two tile therefore for two tile test the 5 percent level of significance and for two tile test the from the standard normal tables z alpha is equal to 1.96 tabulated value z alpha is 1.96 Therefore, modulus of Z is 2.67, Z alpha is 1.96, compare it. So, 2.67 is greater than 1.96, therefore, modulus of Z is greater than Z alpha, that is H0 is rejected. The H0 is rejected means H1 is accepted. What is H1? Sample has not drawn from the population, that is our conclusion. The sample has not drawn from the population whose mean, the 4.3 centimeters. That is what our conclusion. Thereafter, it was specified that we have to calculate 95% and 99% confidence limits. So, first of all, it was specified, it was given that sigma is equal to 2. Otherwise, we have to use yes. Remember, in the formula, if sigma is not given here also, we have to consider yes. Sigma given, sigma not given. Two particular cases here as well. But it was specified that sigma is equal to 2. So, therefore, 95% confidence limits for the population mean when sigma is equal to, sigma is known. When sigma is known, then the formula of 95% confidence limits are x bar plus or minus 1.96 sigma by root n. That is x bar minus 1.96 into sigma by root n, comma, x bar plus 1.96 sigma by root n. You substitute the values and get the uh, value that is limits. x bar 4.5, 1.96 sigma 2 by root n, root 400. Like that you calculate with plus sign x bar 4.5 plus 1.96 into sigma 2 divided by root 400, n is 400. So the value we got 4.304 comma 4.696. This is confidence uh, limits confidence limits this is this is what 95% uh, confidence limits for the population mean population mean should lie in between 4.3 to 4.69 that is what our conclusion that is what the 95% uh, confidence limits the meaning of the confidence limits the population mean 95% we are confident that uh, the population mean would lie in between the interval 4.304 to 4.696. Similarly, only the change is 99% confidence and the 99% confidence limits for population mean, which is x bar minus 2.58 sigma by root n and x bar plus 2.58 sigma by root n. What is 2.58 value or 1.96 values? which are here 5% level of significance, here 1% level of significance values. If you remember in that fashion, you can easily remember. 99% means you have to consider 1% uh, value, 1% two tile value, 2.58. That is the value you have to consider always, 95% to calculate 99% confidence limits for the population mean, for any value, population mean or population proportion, etc. So, x bar minus 2.58 into sigma by root n 
comma x bar plus 2.58 in sigma by root n. You substitute the values. Finally, you will get the value here like this. Uh, 4.242 comma 4.758. Hope you understand the value. So that is population mean. We are expecting that population mean lies in between 4.242 and 4.758 in the 99% confidence limits. That is 90. We are confident 99%. We are confident that the population mean lies in between 4.2 to 4.7. Hope you understand this is what the calculation of 95% and 99%. If sigma is not given, then you consider yes. If sigma is not given in the entire formula, you consider yes. That's all. Hope, hope you understand. If sigma is not given, then you consider always yes. Then you consider the sample standard deviation yes. Thank you.